Winter is now behind us, the snow is melting and my favorite season is rolling in, spring. A season synonymous with the start of the trail running races, the first real test of the year. After all those hours, kilometers and elevation meters covered, the Jura mountain range will be my first real test on my journey towards my ultimate goal race, UTMB. Okay, so first uh, race of the year, uh, we're in Bulm in the Swiss Jura uh, for the first uh, first race of the year. Uh, looking forward to it, actually. Uh, finally getting to test myself, 55 kilometers and 3,200 meters deep plus. Uh, it's going to be a good, uh, good first challenge. I'll see how my shin uh, uh, goes since I had a bit of an issue with it over the uh, month of April. So I hope today it will... Uh, be uh, on my side uh, and we're not forgetting our ultimate uh, objective which is uh, preparation for UTMB uh, in uh, end of August beginning of September so uh, this will be a good first uh, challenge for uh, to start off the season so early wake up call got up at 4 30 in the morning uh, it's now 6 uh, 6 15 the race starts around uh, 7 20 went to bed early last night tough to get to sleep so Probably didn't have enough sleep, but uh, that's fine. It's part of the game, so let's get this done. All geared up. Now heading to the to the start. It's going to be a long day. It's going to be hopefully a, a beautiful day. So far the weather's holding, uh, they uh, forecast some storms for the afternoon, so um, I'm equipped for that as well, just in case. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, first race, first ultra of the, of the season, so here we go. We set off. Another adventure for me. This start has somewhat of a solemn feeling to it. It marks the concrete journey towards UTMB, a first test that is meant to prepare me for what will certainly be the biggest physical challenge I have ever faced in my life. A daunting objective that wouldn't be big enough if it didn't scare me. I'm in the middle of the first climb. I've been going a little bit too fast. Take it easy. The first climb is a tough one, around 1000 meters D plus right off the bat. I had done it last year so I know what to expect, but again I fall in the trap of going faster than I probably should. I did a solid training on elevation gain, so feel strong as opposed to the downhills that will be coming up soon. We're now nearing the top of the first climb 
and it's time to fill up in calories. I have been very disciplined on this front and try to continue being so in these races. I try to intake around 250 calories per hour. And what I'm doing this year is varying my nutrition with different brands, different flavors. I know that at some point my stomach will not take any more solids and therefore also have purees that are easier to swallow. Okay, we're arriving in the first aid station. So far feeling okay. I definitely feel I pushed uh, probably a little too hard on the uphill. So I might pay the price later on. Ah, <sighs> Okay, did the first aid station, build up in calories, so far so good, at least the weather's on our side for the moment, not sure where I stand in the rankings but I don't care, just want to finish this race in a good condition, and let's go. Here's one of the bunkers. Military bunkers abandoned. Be cool. We're now into our second climb. A short one, but a climb nevertheless. I feel I have a pretty good pace on the uphills and feel strong. The training definitely paid off. It's now time to head back down. Downhills are not my thing as you know. And this one has a bit of a camber which gave me a huge blister last year. This time I'm going to make sure I get down without any issues. Come on Johnny. So we've done a 15 kilometers. Climbed 1,300 meters. Uh, our beat is way, way too high, but so far so good. There's another bunker, Swiss bunker. This season is also taking a different dimension in terms of recognition. It was heartwarming to meet some YouTube followers at the start of the race. It makes all the hard work of putting these films together worth it when I hear how it has inspired them to grind through the difficulty of preparing these grueling races and setting themselves daunting objectives. How's the race going? Uh, it's good. Yeah? It's good. I tried some nutrition. Yeah. I so just, what's your speciality? The homemade uh, what? Today I tried um, parmesan, rice balls with a little bit bacon. Nice. Yes, and so that's to counter that issue that we all have of uh, indigestive uh, problems on the long races. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I was suffering last year doing my really long runs, and now I want to try um, something new during this race. And yeah. 
Right, now it works uh, quite good. Quite well, yeah, it was yes, tasty. Well. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Cool, excellent. Hopefully it'll give you that energy to get to the end without any stomach problems. Yeah, I hope so. Cool. So we will see us at the finish line, yeah. huh? and then yeah. we... You'll be there before me, I'm sure. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Give me the beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, have fun. You too. So how do I feel now? Kilometer 20, 22. Knees a little bit uh, tight now. Hadn't had that in the training, so this is new. Uh, I'll see how it goes. Bonjour. Beautiful, beautiful views. Ah, that was a nice climb. At this point, my knees are really starting to feel the effort. I'm wondering why that is. I've done a lot of strength exercises during training, so I'm very puzzled. Merci. Hey. Bonjour. Bonjour. Ah. Bonjour. We're now at around kilometer 24. Except for my knees, I'm feeling pretty well. The climbs have been particularly good. One always needs to be fully concentrated. Here, I nearly slipped down a pretty steep section of the downhill. One can never let down his guard. All right, so at this point in the race, it's uh, pretty spread out, so pretty much on my own now. I'm at a 27. Uh, knee, left knee is a little bit uh, tight. Really annoying on the downhill. So, uh, starting to get tough. I've climbed 1,900 meters already. So, uh, starting to get tough. Despite my knee issue, I'm glad it's not my shin. Since end of March, I've been battling with this injury, which was new to me. After around one full week of complete rest, I had to switch to indoor cycling for a couple of weeks, which was also new for me, before I could head back onto the trails, avoiding the hard ground of the roads. So for today, no issues on that front. cliffs but it's really hot humid heavy stormy oh, sweating like crazy oh, I'm drinking my water way too fast depleting Climb. Definitely going slow and slower. Oh. Hello, Johnny.
We're having a tougher patch now. Kilometer 33, 2,300 meters deep plus. Tough, not feeling great. I'm not feeling great at this point and the Garmin Enduro 2 confirms that my stamina level is dropping rapidly. I have been going too fast and I can feel it. If I finish the race, I'm going to finish it with no batteries left. As always on these races, the volunteers are awesome, super friendly and helpful. At this aid station, I start to stretch. I can definitely feel the effort. I have to focus on my objective, just finishing in a good condition. This is when the race really starts, when you start entering that pain cave, the place that makes the difference between quitters and winners. And in these races, winning is all very relative. In many of our cases, it's about winning over ourselves, killing that voice that tries to tempt us to just give up and seek comfort. That same voice that pops up in our everyday life, trying to lure us into taking on the easy path, straying us off the more fulfilling but more difficult route. Okay, we're at kilometer 38 and climb 2440 meters. Yeah, it's not easy. Not sure whether I feel good or not. Kilometer 41, 2700 meters deep plus. Can't really eat much anymore. But as we, we all know, we all have some tough patches and then we come out stronger the other side. So, hoping for that. That's where we were before. It's getting stormy now. I've never really enjoyed running for the sake of running, but running on trails enables me to take on some epic adventures and reach some of the most beautiful places on earth that I wouldn't be able to access without my legs. These races are therefore also a great opportunity to practice gratefulness. Gratefulness to be able to do these epic adventures and see these incredible views. But like everything in life, if you didn't have to work really hard for it, it probably isn't worth it. Today, we have all worked hard to reach this summit and we are enjoying every second of what the Jura has to offer. Nice, uh... <laughs> Merci bien, bonne journée. Kilometer 44, so we're now in ultra territory. I'm now taking on the final part of the course. Only one aid station stands between myself and the finish line. That sacred finish line. 
one of the happiest places on earth for many reasons. For me, it's the consecration of all the hard work that was done in loneliness. All that time spent training in silence whenever I could find the time in a very busy life. It's a place where the energy is high. Everyone arriving at destination after a shared odyssey of suffering and awe. Okay, kilometer 47.5, 2,900 meters elevation gain. Seven hours in. A shared journey during which we all push ourselves, sometimes following each other in dead silence, each one of us deep in our thoughts. Sometimes deep thoughts that take us to places we didn't know existed, uncovering our hidden potential, helping us grow in the process and become better people. Ah. Ça va? Ouais. Comment ça tire? Ah, ça tire là, ouais. Il reste que de la descente. Oh. Allez, dur sur les genoux. Merci. Ouais, Bravo ouais. à vous. Oh bah. Toute la journée ici. Hein. Bon, on se relaie. Hein. Heureusement. Ouais, ouais. Sinon, ce serait long. Ouais. À bientôt, bonne journée. Ouais, Merci. Ok, nous avons fait la dernière station. Maintenant, c'est tout le long à la fin. Si mes genoux survivent. Kilometers 52, a couple of uh, hundred meters uh, downhill. I'm toast now. Toast. My stamina level is now at zero according to my Garmin, and it has been such since kilometer 40. It is to be taken with a pinch of salt, but it is a good proxy and it aligns well with how I now feel. I pushed too hard too early and I excavated the pain cave for quite a few kilometers. A good learning for the future races. I need to be more cautious on the heart rate. The heavy race pack definitely distorts what I believe is a slow pace. Actually, I need to go slower than I think. Oh, finally we're arriving in Bodum. That was a great way race. I'm toast, but I'm feeling uh, quite okay compared to the 35k last year. So training has paid off. That's pretty good, no injuries. So, I can only be grateful. That's uh, eight hours, four minutes, uh, 53 kilometers. That was tough. There we go. Gray race, wrapped up, had a good beer. Now I'm gonna head off for a, for a good shower. Look, when I, uh, when I do these races, 53K, 3,100 meters uh, of elevation, uh, it's tough. I really wonder how I'm going to manage to do uh, UTMB in uh, in August. It's going to be uh, that's going to be a killer. I'm definitely going to have to do something about my pace at the beginning because again, just went too fast. Can't do that all the time. So certainly not at UTMB. So I'm going to have to to learn to pace myself on uh, in that respect. But at least uh, everything else went well. Shoes, speed good, five worked great. Licky poles worked great. Enduro 2 worked great, Salomon Pack worked great, so definitely can't complain. <laughs>